sparks. I wanted to come on and show you all some of the button rings and flower rings I made. I hope that you all had a fantastic week. Um, this has been a really unique week for me. Um, I don't know, having some highs and lows meaning, you know, I work corporate America, I got the nonprofit and organic life, and some days I was just getting frustrated, like, oh, I'm ready for the next level. And, you know, real quick business talk. You know, that next level, man, I just can't wait for it to come where I can do what I do full time. Many of you are asking me, you know, things like where do you get your products from and what do you do? And keep in mind that I do run a business. And before, I, you know, I did a whole video on where do I get my natural products from when I was just playing, you know, doing it myself. But now I'm a distributor and I am a manufacturer. I distribute products, meaning when you see something that I have that I offer that I don't hand make, I sell it. I manufacture, meaning I make some of the own, my own products. Organic Life is my brand. My enterprise is Organic Life products. So keep that in mind when you're asking me and I don't answer where I tell you, you know, you can order it from my website. I'm not being rude. I'm just letting you know that this is a business for me. Now, the difference between me and most people is that I do want a brick and mortar. I want a store. I want you to come in. I want to assist you. I do online, but it is a lot to send orders with me working so much. So want to show you the rings? Come on in. Hi. Hey, I little Mansa was helping me earlier. Yeah. Um, thank you. Here are some of the ones a little bit more. Do that a little bit more. Okay. okay. All right. Here's some of the rings. These are some of the ones I made the flower rings. They're cute. Look at that. I think they're cute. <laughs> and I have the pink and the reds. You can see how big the flowers are. They're not as big as I thought they would be, which is okay because I think these are cute. You know, they're cute. Um, my daughters like these things. I like making it for them. The only reason I, you know, down sell them is because people want them. Um, this is one of the flower rings, which I think is just gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, I think it's so cute. And it's just easy to kind of move around. So, that's cute. And another little flower ring. This is more like little dainty. I'm Real feminine. I like little dainty things. Thank you. Some little flower rings. All right. Well, let me show you some of the button rings. And I'm going to show you how I made them. Real easy. Here's a button ring. It's real cute. Real kind of sexy and sassy. <laughs> All right. Um, you saw my son running. So let me tell you how I'm making these. You can use Kyrie shells. You can use. I have these little um beads. Now, we'll tell you with these beads and buttons. You can order them from anywhere. You can go to a bead store. Go online. Um, if you're really interested in these, you know, I can get them and put them on my website. But they're just little, you know, little flowers. I need bigger ones. They're, they're, they're too little, so I'm going to go to a couple places. I need bigger flowers. Um, I also made some of these little flowers like this. This is actually a pink one, but I don't think it's so far to color. And my daughter and I had one. It's not here right now, but we did some glitter. So anyways, what you do, um, let me see. Of course, with the little flower ones, you get your little ring base and you glue it on top. Really, 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 I mean, so super simple. See? The glue that I use is E6000. Okay, this glue works great. It's Flexible, paintable, waterproof, non-flammable, and safe for photographs. I mean, it's just some good stuff. It does some real weird things when you use it. So whenever I use it, I put um, some saran wrap down in my work area because I don't want to get it all messed up. Okay. Thank you. It, no, it's yeah, still yeah. sharp. It's still too sharp. Oh. <laughs> so right there is the ring. Um, for the buttons. Okay, let me show you real quick with the buttons. And I'm going to let Nancer demonstrate that too so you'll see him real quick. <laughs> I'm supervising the answer. The answer is. <laughs> Wait, let me get another one. That's easy. If it's too tough, don't do it. Okay. And only do this when I'm supervising you, okay? Okay. I will never. I will never do this without you. Because if I get cut, it's my fault. Mm hmm Because if I don't ask without permission from you, and if you're super. If you're not super friendly. But if you are, I can do it. Uh oh. I can um, help you if you say I cut. This is way too hard. I can't do this. Okay. Can you do this one? Wait, I think I can't. Oh, no. Don't put my hand in it. No, don't put your hand in it. I'll try it. Oh. 
I think you, you can do it. You can do it. All right. Here's the tricky part with the buttons. Now, I have some buttons that are kind of more of old school, and they have the thicker. But what you do is get some pliers. I got these from the Dollar Tree. They were $1, and they were good. And watching your fingers, you're going to put it in the middle there, move your fingers out the way, and just snap it. And it's going to take a little bit. It doesn't always snap real easy. So I usually will snap it one way and then try to... The thicker ones are harder. And then the little smaller ones, you can see it's kind of... It's already bent there. The thinner is much easier. Take it and there, snap it. And you're going to want to sandpaper that down. Um, I didn't buy any sandpaper tonight, so the reason you hear my kids coming in and out, I just told them, I said, go get some... Um, just, you can literally take this out on the concrete and rub it down. Um, I have this really nice button I like. Look, beautiful button. And look, once I took it off, took it outside, it's smooth because you want a smooth part for your base. And again, here's another button, smooth part for the base, okay? So don't be afraid if you don't have the sandpaper or smooth part for the base. Take it out on the concrete. <laughs> All out being frugal and save the money. Then what you do is you get your E6000 glue. All right, you're going to take your E6000 glue. You can put that on there. And this glue is really good. I like putting it on a little bit thicker than you normally would, only because it seems to work better when it's thicker. And you just take your ring, put it right there in the center, there, or you can do it upside down. Okay, see there? And let it set for about two hours, and that is it. Okay, now here's the flower ring. See that? It's really cute. I leave the green base here, like the leaf part, but make sure that you glue underneath there. Once you get to cut that stem part off, it'll come off. But it actually looks really nice on one side. I think you can leave it on. Okay, and again, nice and fun. The little ring, same thing. So I'm going to show you how I do, especially with the base part. You have it, you know, you just get the little, pull it off by the stem, and you have this part here. But what you want to do, again, is you want to do your best to glue that in. It's going to be a part where you can pull this part, the green part off. See there. But you want to glue that so that it doesn't come off when you go to cut it. And this takes a little bit of time. Glue it in. So that is how you kind of get it done. What I do is I normally will glue it in, and then I'll let it set for like an hour or so before I actually go in. And this glue is easy. So it just rubs. It's not like super glue where it sticks your hands. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you is I've got these little cute wedding flowers. See? They're real cute and dainty. I think these would be wonderful for bridesmaids. So you take your wedding flower, and the best way to do this and still allow your ring to set is you want to put it face down, face down, then put your glue on where you want it, wherever you want to center your glue, and then set your ring on top of the glue and let it set that way. Like I said, I think the thicker is a little better. This is some good glue. Take your ring, press it down, okay, just let it set for like two hours, but overnight preferably. And... You know, there you have it. I've been looking for all kinds of things now. I mean, I'm not letting anything in my house go to waste. Even my earrings, I've been looking at, you know, if I have one. You know, here's a cute little heart button. Um, use whatever you want. It's all about being frugal. It's all about having fun. So that's it for you, how to make a beautiful flower ring, a button ring. Shoot, make an earring. <laughs> I'm hoping I got some, um, <laughs> I got some bamboo flax in and I was thinking about making some earrings out of these. I think those would be cute. Uh, maybe a pendant. I don't know. I'm all into making all kind of stuff now. I just I'm just crap. I don't know. I might even fit something. It'd be a cute little wrap for your hair. So there it is. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Comment below. Are you into making your own jewelry? I'm gonna get much more creative. And again for the business, all of you all that are starting businesses, God bless you with wisdom, peace and joy. I don't say good luck because luck runs out. I don't want it to run out for you. I want you to be the best you can be. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.